Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Well, in this tutorial, we'll learn how to build a shadow, just one side shadow, or you will have a shadow of your container and it would be only on one side, like this one, as you can see. So only at the bottom, not left or right or the top part. Well, so we'll learn how to do that. Of course, after understanding this, you'd be able to apply shadow very effectively and you'd be also you'll also know how to apply shadow just to one side well to do that first we have to understand some ideas well definitely the first idea is uh, how to use a shadow well in general you'd shadow within box container okay and box container should have a background color in our case the background color is white so that's why this is white over here as you can see all right and uh, well right now if i do save the program the shadow would be gone uh so let me save it rerun it and uh, there's almost no shadow as you can see all right so within box decoration you will have the property box shadow and within box shadow you will have a list okay so these two brackets here they are the list in flatter within list you can just simply call the box shadow this one from uh, Flutter package, all right? And uh, we know that if we hover over on it, we'll see, see some properties and a lot of them are default like blur radius, spread radius and color and offset. So it's, it's a black color, the shadow color is black in this case, offset zero, blur radius zero and spread radius zero. But we'll know one by one what are they. Well, so the first thing you would do would try to apply blur radius and here say I would do 5.0 now I'll run the program and I see something like black so you might think that this color is applied to the border and uh, that's why we see black but of course we already learned that box shadow is uh, its default color is black that's why we see black over here it's o o o o o six o's or eight o's as you can see all right but actually there is more than this like as you can see our foreground color is white so we can make it transparent okay now let's save it so there is no actually no foreground color now we see the black color and actually this is the black color of this shadow okay so what it means that shadow is applied or box shadow is applied below our foreground so in our case foreground is transparent if it's white so the black color would be applied below this white background color or white foreground foreground color so anyway now what is this five and blur radius so as you can see we have this blurry effect Blur means uh, this kind of blurry effect and radius here is a five. So what does that mean, five? So what's happening here? If I put it back to white, you'll understand. So now as you can see, now our foreground color and background color, they have this one-on-one -on -one match. And after that, we have this little bit black blurry color, okay? now. You see this this amount of distance is actually five pixels so all is doing here it's spreading up to like five you can understand it like this okay so now we can change it to 10 let's see so it's spreading to more distance okay now it's uh, greater than or larger than just now that 10 okay so as you increase more so it will spread more as you can see but of course we don't need 100 so that's how it works okay now we'll stick to five over here all right so that that's very important and so this is the first thing we learned so here as you can see at the border we have this distance five pixels okay now the default color is uh, black and it's on the left right and uh, uh, everywhere actually but we want to apply it to only one side okay well, to do that we can use another property which is called offset and offset takes uh, uh, parameters two parameters one for x and another for y but of course the default value is zero 
which means they start from center. So it starts from center of this container and then spread, okay? Now it's spreading everywhere and it's also getting extra five pixel because of this one, all right? But now we can shift them using this offset. So do remember, now the positive axis is for X, it is on the right and for Y, it's down. So here for X axis over here is positive and for Y axis down there, it's positive, okay? Now here we can move this shadow using this two parameters. So first one is for X, second one is for Y, okay? So now we want to just apply shadow to this bottom, okay? And we want to hide them. Well, one thing we could simply do, we can move the shadow. Here it's, we have this extra five pixels. So what we could do, we can move it down. Right now it's zero. So what we could do, we can here do five. Do remember, just now I said that positive value is down below for Y. So this is for Y axis. Now let's save it. After saving it, we'll see this is moved, this is gone. Well, it's actually not gone over here, this black shadow, it will move down, okay? So you see, it's gone from here. What it did, actually it shifted from here to down and that's why it's also increased over here. Just now it was more like this, this amount of blur radius or the density was like that. Now we have more of this because it's coming out from top to bottom, okay? So that's how you can shift your shadows. That's the first thing. So now we have shadows on the other two sides and we can also take care of them. So we can hide them or cover them. So actually there is no direct way of applying shadow only one side. So there are tricks that you need to use in Flutter and this is the basic of the tricks. So just now we learned that using offset we can move the shadow and we also have the axis. So our blur, blur radius spread five pixel. So it was spreading everywhere, but using this one, I'm moving the blur radius to Y axis down, okay? So five pixels down. So it's moved from top to bottom and it moved five pixels from top. So all together here, I have 10 pixels, okay? So we can pretty much apply the same effect for left and right. So to do that, we can apply another box shadow. That's what we'll do now, box shadow. Now here, so what, what, what we could do, we don't need any more blur radius, okay? All we need to do, we need to shift our shadows, okay? Now, how could we do that? So definitely, we could do offset one more time. Now here, we want to hide this one or cover this, this shadow on the left side. Now, left and right is controlled by this one, okay? So once you do positive five, okay, or negative five, it'll move to the left, the shadow on horizontal axis. So it'll move like this. So it'll, one second, it'll move like this. So it'll move downward, sorry, inward and show up here, okay? All right. And in this case, we'll move only the x-axis. So y is zero for this shadow. Now let's go ahead and save it. Well, it did move over here, as you can see, a little bit. But now the color is a problem because now it become more black. Well, remember, each box shadow, the default color is black, but we can change it. So we could do here color, colors.white same as our foreground color okay now let's save it okay so as you can see it it's gone so because we moved it there okay it's pretty much like that we we applied a new one and we directly moved it over here on the left okay so that's why the original one is still there but because we applied a new box shadow so it's covered by the new one. So this is the first one. So order is also important. All right. So but we'll use the same strategy for our right shadow. Okay. So here we do box shadow and color, colors.white. And uh, we do offset over here. Now here we want to move it to the right. 
So for x-axis, move it to the right, we can just simply do 5 and then 10. Okay? All right. So now we'll go ahead and apply it. So as you see, it's gone. So we applied a new shadow over here and covered it, and we also moved it to the right side. So that's why that shadow is gone. Okay? That's how it works. Do remember that. In general, your offset, the value, should be greater than 5, okay? The module, the absolute value, which doesn't include either it's plus or minus, okay? So in general, it should be equal or greater, okay? So what we could do, we can actually do 10 and over here plus 10. So now as you see, it's more covered right now, okay? So in general, if you want to apply shadow on the one side, so your other shadows, the last shadows, last two or three shadows, their offset, x and y value, the absolute value should be greater than the blur radius. Okay, but I think we are happy with this five. Okay, all right. Of course, uh, we don't want a black shadow, which doesn't really look good. So we can change the first color of the first box shadow. So here we do color, and here we do O, X, F, F, E8, 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 I guess. Let's save it. Okay, so I like this one. Uh, it's more like, a, I mean, normal shadow. So that's how you apply only one shadow to one side. And after this, actually, you should have better understanding how shadow works. Thank you so much.